The first weekend in August was an important one for L3 workers in Corpus Christi, Texas. Both direct and indirect workers voted to accept their first union contract. Your contract has been rat ratified by 95% in favor of well, I want to thank you on behalf of all your brothers and sisters in the Southern Territory for having the courage to, to step up, sign that card, and to show up today and cast your vote. But it's your union now, and, and when this is all said and done, you've got a, a local that you belong to. I would encourage everybody to take the time once a month to go to your lodge meeting. The direct workers at L3 are helicopter mechanics, sheet metal mechanics, and painters. The indirect workers include the office and supply employees. Both units voted yes to secure a future for themselves and their families. Obviously, everybody likes the goodies, you know, the extra pay and all that kind of stuff and more time off. But, you know, all the time off and money in the world isn't going to matter if you, can't be, if you can't protect your job. Perhaps the biggest highlight of the contract is the pension, a rarity for non-union workers. This contract includes a total increase in wages of 8.5% over three years, along with a lower share of health care costs. How are you going to sit at a certain classification for a job for 10 years and not get any pay raises, any benefits, period? But this shows the people that you can help and you can improve yourself and that no one can tell you not to help and not to do otherwise. But the contract doesn't stop there. It includes a seniority provision, grievance procedure, and double time for working a seventh consecutive day. I am so excited. This is something that I really push for. That's why I work so hard to campaign um, from the very beginning was because I know what we needed. The International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers has a long history of representing workers on military bases. The union currently works for nearly 26,000 workers under more than 400 service contracts at nearly 600 sites nationwide. That includes nearly 16,000 workers in the Southern Territory's 14 states. And now, L3 workers will be part of that diverse family. The Machinist Union, we are all a family and we should have each other's backs and we'll always have your back. You ought to have each other's too and I know you do. This is the first contract and this committee, your committee here did an outstanding job. That's why the IAM throughout the Southern Territory wants every worker to know there's hope for everyone. Don't give up. That's an awesome feeling knowing at the end that I didn't give up and look where we're at now. It's possible. It's possible to grow and it's possible to get better things and it's impossible to improve your life. And with the IAM, I can truly say that they have helped improve my members and my life in just this short period of time. And I can't even imagine what, what kind of improvements are on the horizon. Each contract gets better than the one before when you take the first step to a better life with better working conditions and benefits for years to come in the largest service contract union in North America. For the Machinist News Network, I'm Tanya Hutchins.